Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, another tube fly uh, of the old style, I suppose. Uh, so this time we're tying a black and orange tube fly, as described in Peter O'Reilly's book Flies of Ireland. Uh, I suppose this is a copper one and a half inch tube. So I'll start off my tying thread a little bit behind the tube because because I want a little clear bit here for doing my head on. So, I tend to run myself down using a thumb or a finger or something like that as a guide. Sliding down my thumb and nail and then I'll just move it along. Now, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect here because we're going to come back up that again. So, uh, this fly has a silver embossed rib uh, and that was how it was described in the book but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a little silver oval butt onto this so we'll tie in a medium silver oval over here and we'll take that all the way back to where the tube is being held and then we'll make more touch and turns coming forward so take our oval silver and wrap on four or five turns or so just it's up to yourself basically as to how much you want to put on some people want more of it as sort of a striking point Catch the tinsel in, pull it down so it's in line with the tube, and then run forward for a little section. Turn that off. So, as I said, rib uh, embossed silver. Uh, now, I'm using a vintage one, but uh, as far as I know, like Yarton will do an embossed silver. So, tie that in over here. And back to our butt. The body is black floss. So we're going to go with uh, black rayon floss here. So I've pulled out maybe two feet or so, up at three feet maybe. And then I'll put it in behind my tie and thread, match up the two cut ends here. Then you see there's essentially a loop sliding on my tie and thread. So I can hold my tie and thread up, pull that down under tension, it'll slide right down to the base of it and you basically will not get a neater tie-in method I think for tying in silk and then we'll take our tie-in thread and come up the body making a nice smooth base layer for that to lay on see any gaps just fill them in spin this right forward Take our silk, Just wiggle it a little bit to get the two strands here separated, and then I'll go forward and touch and turn. Because there's two strands, they'll sort of nestle in and find their own uh, leveling effect, I suppose, as they wrap. And practice makes perfect, of course. So. Get to the front, turn across, to the second turn across, fold it back on itself, and two turns, and that'll hold it in place. These little fine scissors, and trim that off. So that's our body on. Um, if we want, we can burnish that to get it a bit smoother. And then we'll take our silver embossed tinsel and come up the body in four, five, six wraps up to yourself. 
5 is a sort of accepted norm. And I will fold that back on itself, nick it. black and orange tube fillet. So it has black bucktail and it has orange bucktail. So two bunches of each. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out a bunch of orange. Hold a bit of tips and flick it. All the short stuff will fall out. And then it's up to yourself if you want to level this up. Uh, some people will put it in a hair stacker. I'm not going to. So I'm going to Put on a couple of turns just to hold that in place. And then I'm going to get another bunch, same size, and put it on the far side of our fly. I'll flip that over, measure to the same length. Hold it on the side and tie it in place. And then I'm going to put about a centimetre or so of my thread. I'm just going to run a bit of super glue on there with our brush and wrap that to hold it in position. Now, don't worry that it's sticking out all over the place, we'll fix that as we go on. So, we're now going to move on. We'll take the black bucktail. Same idea, flick it, get rid of the short stuff. So take the black bucktail bunch and set it up, measured for length, and set it on the side. Note we're tying everything in here on basically one or two turns of tying thread, thickness wise. I'll we'll take another separate bunch of black. Same thing, get rid of the short stuff. Flip it over and tie that in on the side. So all the bucktail is in place. centimeters or so of thread. Pull this all down nice and firm. Wrap backwards until the head that we create is the size you want. Now there's a tendency for very small o-rings as they're called and that's up to yourself. Um, Probably go a little bit bigger myself. Now, time to trim the thing up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scalpel blade. This is actually a hooked one, and I'm going to go in just off the front edge of my head, and I'll cut down until I hit the metal tube. Now this won't work with plastic tubes or anyway. Well it will but you can cut the plastic tube easily. And then I'm just using the rotary function. Keeping the blade on line. And that will cut our head down nice and neat. If you want you can go in the front of it and build back up to it. Now we have cut ends or exposed ends of our uh, bucktail. So I would just run a little run of super glue just on that. Finish. 
finisher off the head. I use my hands, you can use whatever you use, whip finish tool, whatever. Half itch. And then again, we'll just super glue that head. When the super glue dries, I'll then take uh, a Vineyard's black varnish. I, I don't think there's a better black varnish anywhere than this. Uh, and I'll, I'll varnish the head in black and then I'll go to clear the one after that. But that is our black and orange tube play on a one and a half inch copper. If uh, you like what you see, like, subscribe, leave some comments down below, tell your friends, bring them along, all helps, uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.